Hi there, today we're doing an unboxing of a Sony RX100 Mark VII camera. So this particular one has been refurbished. So let's open it up and see what you get in the packaging. Okay, so I've laid out everything you get in the packaging. So let me quickly run through the items one by one. You get a USB power adapter. You can see the connection point there at the back and then coming underneath five volts, 1.5 amps. You get a wrist strap and strap adapters. You get a USB to micro USB cable, build quality of the cable feels good, and you get a lithium iron battery. Let's take a brief look around the camera. So in terms of build, it feels really nice and solid. You've got the zoom adjustment here, zoom on the top, just over here. If I flip this button, flash pops up, just to show. You've got an adjustment here to flip between different options. Record button here, menu function, and a toggle over here. Coming around the side, what's quite cool about this one, it's actually got a microphone input. So if you see there, looking down here, you've got multi. So this is where you plug in your micro USB point. And then you've got your mini HDMI connector port there. Over here, you've got the point where you'd put on the wrist strap and attach that. Coming around the bottom, you can see the point where you mount it on a camera stand and then the battery goes in there and memory card as well. Memory card can just easily be placed into position and battery wise, like so, we just lock it in. And that's it, you're ready to go. Now in terms of the screen, we've put a screen protector on this, but just to show, flips around. So if you're a vlogger for instance, and you wanted to see yourself as you're recording, quite useful to have that. And just to show the flexibility on this, comes out as well, so you can be viewing it at a different angle, just to show. So if you low down like so, you could be easily seeing the screen. Let me turn on the camera and briefly run through the menus. So initially presented with language selection, if I click English, set a date and time. Software here to remotely connect to it. And there you go, you're up and running, quick as that. Now coming around the side here, just to show, you've got a finder option and another tag to attach the wrist strap on. And if I pull the finder down, you can see the viewfinder appear. Quite interesting how this works. So if you come in close, cover some of the screen, the viewfinder then turns on, you can see the light just come on on there. And if I move away, it then turns off. So intelligent enough to work out if someone's there and shut off the main screen. Now once you've finished using that, you just push it down just turns the camera off. Now, if we turn it back on again, next we've got the zoom option on here, so you can see the zoom in action. So that's one method using the control here. And then you've got the additional zoom functionality here, so you can just twist it at the side to enable you to zoom in and out. Feels nice in terms of build quality on moving this, and even the other controls do feel good on here. Let's have a quick look around the menu options available on this. So if I click menu, and then you can see here, there's some tabs at the top. First one represents pictures, so images, and the second one is movies. So if I flick along, and you can see there's a number of different tabs along the bottom as well. So coming along here, just to show, you've got JPEG quality, JPEG image size, but then if I come across, there's more, there's loads. If I flick across, keep going, a lot of granular functions there. Now coming over to movies, so you can see there the options file format wise, you can see you've got 4K on this as well. And record settings just here. Now coming across, even on the movie side of things, there's loads. Next you've got network. So this is where you'd control via your smartphone. That's what you have available coming across. Then you've got playback. Some more on playback as well. Then finally, setup. So coming across on setup. And then finally, you've got my menu setting. And that's it. Coming back from there, then you've got function here. If I click on that, you've got some additional options coming across. If I just come across, you can see that. There you go. And I'll turn that off. Now looking on here, press up again, options available on there. Then across, you've got the flash option. Come out of that, going downwards, 
then coming across got the shooting modes here coming out of it then you've got playback over here short video I've made and then you can delete as well clicking on there delete now coming out of this if I click there comes back onto the camera now in terms of the screen it is touchscreen just to note so if I want to refocus on different areas or different objects I can just easily just touch it and it refocuses now the screen itself I can lift it up move it out for instance and as you can see it's still at the same angle and once I lift it higher you can see it will just flip over so there you go more like a, a selfie camera then so as you can see there's my hand there and you can see what you're doing so if you're a vlogger for instance this would be ideal so you can just flip it over and it can be facing you as you're recording away now in terms of steady shot functionality going in there you can see there's intelligent active active standard and off so by default it's on active now you can shift it up to intelligent active but not in 4k so intelligent active is only available in 1080p so the footage you're seeing now is footage recorded directly on the camera and you can see my nano leaf lights here on the wall now it's been recorded in 4k and the camera is doing really well the lights are in a very strong vivid red as you can see and it's picking it up really well now in terms of taking pictures at the same time while you're on the 4k setting if I press the picture mode it's not allowing me to take a picture so keep that in mind with this particular mode now if I flick between different colors available on the nano leaf color representation on this seems really good and flicking one more time green then we've got indigo on there see for yourself what the picture quality is like it's got inbuilt stabilization as well that can be turned on and off now I've got both optical and digital zoom set on the camera now let me go for the maximum zoom just to show you what the picture quality will be like coming into the brickwork of some work being done here picture quality is really good this is on maximum zoom okay so outdoor recording on the camera here and 4k again Now the camera's in 1080p and just to note, while it's recording you can take pictures at the same time.
of things worth mentioning about the camera there's no hot shoe mount on the top obviously there's a flash underneath here actually got a microphone input point there which is good in terms of functionality if you're filming in 4k you can't take pictures at the same time but if you're recording in 1080p then you can take pictures at the same time picture quality wise it seems really good so you're really impressed with that so this is just really a very brief unboxing and a quick setup and show of the camera details for the camera in the description below hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing it thanks for viewing and don't forget to like comment and subscribe